drugs and alcohol. In Gujarat, a predominantly Hindu state, alcohol is prohibited and has been prohibited since 1947. In other states, it has been outlawed at times, but is at the very least discouraged. In Punjab, however, alcohol is four times cheaper than in any other state in India. Alcohol is not outlawed, outlawed in Punjab or even frowned upon. It is in fact encouraged. Furthermore, at this time nearly 70% of Punjab's youth is abusing illegal drugs. The troubling part of the story, however, is where these drugs are coming from. The drugs being smuggled into Punjab are being smuggled by government officials, police officials, and their accessories. Secret reports of the state police itself provide the evidence needed to prove these allegations. However, despite numerous requests by numerous human rights agencies in Punjab, these reports have not been made available to them. The Indian government is not only allowing the drugs and alcohol to run rampant in Punjab, they are encouraging and facilitating it. In addition to attempting to eliminate the Sikhs through various other methods discussed, they are actively assisting the Sikhs in eliminating themselves by not only providing them with the means to kill themselves, but also encouraging them to use those means. That encouragement comes in a variety of ways. The economic and emotional burdens created by the oppression of six, the cheaper prices of alcohol in Punjab, the ridiculously easy availability of drugs in Punjab, and the influence of, on Punjabi pop, pop culture to encourage the use of alcohol and drugs. All of these factors lead to increased alcohol and drug use, causing death, illness, and violence, all of which are a means to the same end, sick genocide. But the most concerning trend here is the failure of us as Sikhs to recognize the government's intentions and practices for what they are. The Indian government has systematically attempted to eliminate the Sikh way of life by a wide variety of methods. We must understand, however, that they are not attempting to eliminate us because we are Punjabi or us as human beings. What they are trying to eliminate is us as Sikhs. If we choose not to follow the Sikh way of life, the teachings of our gurus, they have no desire to eliminate us. That's what they want. They want us to become Hindus. As a result, it is critical that we understand that when we abandon the teachings of our gurus, we stray away from the life taught, the way of life taught by our gurus, and we turn a blind eye to the lessons that our gurus spent hundreds of years and hundreds of sacrifices teaching us, for whatever reason we do this, then we are abandoning our identity as six and helping the Indian government achieve their goals. If any of us, one, two, five, any, abandon our identity and values as six, then naturally we are also contributing to Sikh genocide. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh.